are you really feeling ready to get off the roller coaster of worry and anxiety and allow yourself to relax, let your nervous system reset, and just stop being harassed and afraid of the energies in the world around you? Well, my name's Sonia Choquette. We have been leveling up. We have been leaving the, the 3D world of stress and anxiety and fear, and we, in fact, are moving into a higher frequency. But our nervous systems need to learn how to do that. And the other thing that's happening is we are also learning how to be spirit embodied and with that get the gift of connecting to spirit guides. So the first thing I want you to, to recognize is that this is natural, it is happening, it is happening to all of us. And it, it happens in little ways, not big ways. I'm sitting in my daughter's apartment and I'm enjoying all the color and the lights and the energy and feeling the spirit of joy. So the first thing we need to do if we are going to connect to the higher frequencies in us is be willing to feel joy. We don't have to fight it. We don't have to struggle against it. And you know, I bring this up because a lot of us were taught that being joyful was being irresponsible. We were taught that we had to be serious and we had to settle down and we had to, to focus on work and not waste time having fun. So that is a big indoctrination that our new spirit embodied self needs to cast aside. So using some inspiration from, from this lovely fun place I'm in right now, ask yourself if you could create some internal room to just let yourself enjoy or take joy in life. Take joy in life. And then the next thing to do is to ask your spirit guides to help you. Now I've had a lot of people wonder in the comments, you know, is this a spirit guide? Is that a spirit guide? And it's understandable to be unclear because we've, a lot of us only have Hollywood movies to demonstrate spirit guides and they usually do it in a way that freaks you out. Doesn't work that way. Connecting with spirit guides is learning to connect to the to and be present to the subtle energies that are trying to help your life be better. One of the first steps is to notice what's going on around you to and go to nature first. Nature is where spirit guides can connect to us very quickly and in particular. Notice the birds. Notice if you hear them singing. Do you know that birds sing? to let you know it's safe. Birds sing when the atmosphere is safe. And when you hear a bird sing, it's giving you the message that you're safe. So that would be one very immediate way to connect to spirit guides. The spirit of the birds is communicating from the higher energy that all is well. Even take a few moments, maybe in the morning before you go to work or dive into your day or maybe a few moments in the afternoon before the sun sets and step outside and listen because the birds are singing and that energy is very healing to your body and let me know put it in the comments if you have a connection with birds because even my book ask your guides on the cover that there's a red cardinal because birds are spirit messengers i'm here in new orleans i came a couple days ago and i'm going to be here for two weeks and one of the most fabulous things I did was go, I came because I was invited by my daughter to go to Jazz Fest, which is a big tradition here in New Orleans, but in particular because the Rolling Stones were playing. And that has been one of my favorite musical bands since I was 13. So we went in the afternoon. It was so pleasant. It was from five to seven. It was not hot. It was overcast. And there were 50,000 people there singing dancing and having a good, happy, joyful, connected time. I really took that in because we hear so much people are bad and the world is unsafe and it's not good vibes. And it's not true. Don't buy into that. I had a personal experience that was just so fabulous. Everybody singing together, jumping jag flash, it's a gas, 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 was healing. So that's another way that your spirit guides help you is they will maneuver you into opportunities to have fun, 
Now, I have to admit, when I was first invited, I had to think it through. I had to get on a plane. I had to travel to America. I had to prioritize having fun. And I could feel all the reasons my ego was saying, no, that's wasteful. It's too much work. It's not, you know, you should stay put. All of which weren't true at all. It was just breaking the habit of not prioritizing fun. So that is one of the ways in which you can actually connect to the spirit world in a big way is to prioritize having fun. It's a brand new thing to do is to prioritize having a good time and knowing that that is a spiritual practice because your spirit is having is embodied in joy. One of the things that my teachers taught me is when you actually surrender, for example, your body to dancing, and I don't mean shuffling around and just kind of moving your body while you're stuck in your head. I mean really surrendering and letting your body move. Your spirit has actually taken over. And that's why it's such a healing experience. After you danced your butt off for 10 minutes, everything's right with the world because you are right with yourself. Your spirit is back embodied. And guess what? The other thing about dancing really hard is so good for you. It's I call it the everyone out of the pool experience because we think of things and people that that annoy us and upset us in situations of what could be and it kind of gets stuck in your nervous system when you dance really hard bam everything goes everything exits and you're left with just your beautiful spirit you and you alone in your body and it feels really healing another tool that will help you connect with the spirit is to sing and there's a particular song to sing that's very healing and will have a very immediate uplifting effect and that is the song do re mi from the sound of music if you're if you're older like i am you will recognize that song but if you're young and you're watching this just go on youtube and put in do d-o-r-e-m-i do re mi three words and watch what happens to you when you first learn that it's the notes on the scale do re mi fa sol la ti do or the notes that tr- that correspond with your energy body and wake up your chakras wake up your inner senses wake up your clairvoyance your clairaudience opens your heart opens your throat opens all the energy and that is sort of a inner senses activation song it really does help you feel fantastic and get right with the world and the louder you sing the better you're going to feel and the more connected to the spirit world and spirit guides you'll be so put in the put in the notes here in the comments. Let me know your experience of singing Dory Mead and the Sound of Music. It balances you. And that's a, that is a message from the healer guides. The other thing you can do that's very effective is to actually connect with nature by by growing something. Get a couple pots, a little bit of dirt, some house plants, plant some seeds, grow some mint, grow some basil, grow some some um, cilantro, grow some tomatoes. You can get little pots and they will grow. And that energy of connecting to the earth and that recognizing that you are part of the life force moving through these plants, your intention, your focus, and you know what you can do? Make each seed you plant an intention for some abundance, a new job, a relationship, maybe a change of, of living circumstance, a return to health, and as you nurture the plant, You nurture the intention and the spirit guides come and collaborate with you to nurture the outcome. So this is another very fantastic way to begin to live a spirit embodied life. It's a new way of life. It's just not living in your negative ego, not living in what I call Eeyoreville. You know, Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh was like, womp, womp, always negative. That's the ego. But the spirit is that, that sweet, open available part of you that is ready to be uplifted so this week practice a few things to bring your joy back online to bring your your spirit back online to bring your laughter as a spiritual practice you can dance you can sing you can plant you can sit in nature listen to the birds and pay attention to the subtle ahas that come into your mind that 
the, the little suggestions and the little ideas because spirit guides are subtle. They're like a butterfly wing on your cheek or a whisper in your ear. They're not a heavy drop in kind of thing that, that so many of us are waiting for and expecting. It's so subtle. The guides are so subtle that they're easy to ignore. The other thing is pay attention to your ego dismissing them. Oh, I felt that. I just, I had to think of my mother. I'm just having a, a feeling of something good going to happen. And your ego bats it away and says, that's ridiculous. That's not real. It is. It is. And I just want to bring something else up. I read some of the comments. I read actually all of your comments and they're very important to me. But a couple of them were really negative, really cynical. And it was ones like, yeah, I believe in Santa Claus too. Well, guess what? I do believe in Santa Claus, but not as a person who comes through a chimney. It's the spirit of the inner child. It's the spirit of, of, of joy and, and, and of connection and of, of the, the divine joyful father that is overseeing and overlooking and wanting to bring you joy. Now, I can have that experience. If you want to have another one, you can have it any way you want it because part of the 5D world is you create your own reality. Einstein knew this when he said there's two ways to live. One is if nothing's a miracle, yeah, you're delusional. Or if everything's a miracle, yeah, I believe. I really want everybody to practice and give it a chance. Live for a week as if everything's a miracle. Pay attention to the subtle. Be aware and when you get you are hijacking your brain, start singing Do Re Mi. Notice what's beautiful around you and say thank you for it out loud and recognize that the spirit world is subtle and will come to you in subtle ways it's not going to knock you over but if you recognize it and acknowledge it it gets stronger and more frequent more guides more help until it becomes a continuum As your spirit connects to the spirit world everything starts to flow in unison it's really quite extraordinary so that's my message for this week. If you're new here, I'm so happy you came. I think your spirit brought you. And if this is all new to you, you can look at my book, Ask Your Guides. Now that book is, is, is the definitive connection to the spirit world. And if you're not a reader, you can listen to it in audio. Ask Your Guides. And ask your guides. Ask for help. Ask for support. Ask for joy, ask for spontaneity, ask for uplifting, ask for your sense of humor to return. Ask for your nervous system to help you get your nervous system grounded. Those are the healer guides, the joy guides, the teacher guides. They will help you if you're available and, of it and really willing to come back online in joy. So bit by bit, we'll reclaim it. It was kind of hijacked from us, so we have to be patient, not judgmental, just Patient and I'll relax and know that the little subtle things are indications that we're moving into the fifth dimension. Send me your comments. Tell me how you're experiencing your spirit guides. Believe everything's a miracle for a week. Let me know how that goes and I'll see you next week. And if you enjoyed this, and I really hope you did, please, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up because that's what help keep the channel going strong and these good vibes and this angel energy and the good guides energy flowing. Thanks for tuning in, all my love.